is actually a hologram of yourself. Very handy to actually distract the enemies, and it works. So I'm not going to go into a hole because that's back into the theater. I'm going to go back in here and take a leak. This guy, for instance, is already taking a leak. <sighs> I love this game. <laughs> but I, you thought I was kidding, right? When you're damaged, that actually gives you 10 HP back. Pissing. Pissing gives you HP. No, not herpes. Oh, I missed. Oh well. There we go, so that's another secret there. Pick up the Holoduke again. And now let's kill some more aliens. And the closest thing you will get to naked ladies in this game. That's not really true. You can get closer, trust me. That's for later. Kill me. No, we're not, because then nasties will appear. Anyway, now one more pipe bomb. Here, ta 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 ta. Ow, my face! That was not supposed to happen. There was an explosive hydrant um, exchanging me, and it hurt me. Uh, so now we're going to see. Uh, there we go, the first portable med kit. And now I've got 100 health again. You see, the innovation in this game that has gone lost in ages. Well, Far Cry 2, I believe, had portable med kits. Like syringes that you inject yourself with. Very. Very family friendly. Anyway, now normally, there we go, we have another RPG now, we're just gonna watch a movie. Hey, baby. Right in the you know who. And we have a hole to go through later. <coughs> there we go, kill this little pecker and the pig. And now, of course, we are in LA, so there is. A lot of movement going on here. And I'll just kill these two, popped up out of nowhere. There we go, we can actually open the door, but of course we're going to be a nuisance. Well, maybe we're just going to open this first. Because I said non linear, right? You can choose which way you go. I'm just gonna. I jump behind that because I want to get that. Explosion for you. Wow, splatter. So, alright, I'll show you. Now, if we come here, we get this. We'll, we'll kill the piggies. They're dead now. And now we're going to go the other way. Down here. And into the you know what. And kill it. Because this is how awesome this game is. A secret place. What do we have here? What is this strange looking object? Oh! It's a jetpack! Oh, very important. A mirror. Duke likes mirrors. So. Damn. I'm looking good. Damn. I'm looking good. Yes, you are, Duke. You always look good. Mm -hmm. And now we're just gonna jump out and fly to the sky and blow stuff up. Ooh, there's a beastie. There you are. Long way down, pal. <laughs> anyway, blow these things up, and now we are going to fall to our deaths. Oh, in the nick of time. Anyway, one more thing I have to show you, because in the other levels I won't be doing every freaking secret. Right, going up here, and now with a little jump. Of course, this is completely useless because I have the jetpack. But just want to see how, just want to show you how ingenious this is. Leap of faith. F faith indeed. Okay, it was around here somewhere. I could have sworn. There we go. Yes. See, they don't make secrets like this anymore. It took me four years to find this place before the internet and all. Okay. <laughs> So, of course, we have some good TV on. 
And we now we have the chain gun, but we'll show the effectiveness of the chain gun later. Now I'm just gonna try and not fall off here. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry. We have a jetpack. We can fly, remember? Look at this. We can actually fly in the first level of the freaking game. There we go. Good, so this concludes the first level. Um, the next ones will probably have less rambling. Oh, wait, I forgot something. Arg. Jetpack to the rescue. I forgot this little pickup. Atomic health. Now I've got 165. Anyway, so less rambling in the next one. Just shooting. Now you have seen how awesome Duke Nukem is, really. Um, and that concludes level one.